For Nora Pavone, every day is bring your dog to work day at Brooklyn's Marine Park Funeral Home. I saw other therapy dogs, you know, interacting with people at nursing homes, hospitals, even schools, and I just felt that it was kind of missing in the five boroughs in the funeral industry. Meet Fiona, the therapy dog. She's a one and a half year old Bernice Mountain Dog who's a big help for families at a tough time. A lot of requests had come in and I was kind of overwhelmed by the positive feedback that we were getting. Nora trained the caring canine for a year, getting her comfortable around strangers and around caskets. Fiona practiced during our visit. We'll walk her around the lobby and a lot of times that's when the kids will get to see her and hang out with her. And then they can also request for her to go into the visitation room. So that's by request that we would have her brought into the room and then she would kind of, you know, make laps in the room and, and comfort everyone that is in need. Fiona was just nine weeks old when she started here at the funeral home. Ever since then, she's been here to lend a hand or a paw, shake, for grieving families. A lot of times people will say, you know, we have a dog at home. This makes it feel more like a home atmosphere, which is what we want within the funeral industry. It's called a funeral home for a reason. It's supposed to mimic our homes and make us feel as comfortable as when we're in home. Good girl. Oh, you being good? Fiona recently received a special honor. She became the one millionth dog to pass the American Kennel Club's canine good citizen test. I had no idea until the American Kennel Club actually contacted us uh, later on after we took the test, and I was completely shocked. It was really exciting. There is one thing Nora said she couldn't train Fiona to do, read emotions. That comes with instinct. She really knows who is in need of her and just kind of gently going up to them and sitting next to them is sometimes, you know, so much more help than I could even imagine. Uh, you know, sometimes people just want to hug her, pet her, and it just kind of makes them feel a little bit more comfortable. In Marine Park, Brooklyn, Tim Harfman, Currents News.